Well, it's January here in Tampa Bay area, and me and Jude are out sheep's head fishing today. First thing we're doing is trying to catch some bait. Usually we like to catch fiddler crabs. It's pretty cold out today. The fiddler crabs seem to all be underground. So we're looking for snails and limpets and other little things that we can find. The sheep's head, they like um, crustaceans and shells and uh, basically anything with a hard shell and a meaty inside, they seem to eat it. And so you do have to check your laws and regulations of what you can and cannot use for bait. But we're gonna try to catch some bait and then hopefully catch some sheep's head for the dinner table night. Jude is looking for these tree crabs that usually climb on the mangroves when it's cold. They hide under the rocks here. There we go. That's some prime sheep's head bait there. Now that we have our bait, we're going to go to our sheep's head spot. We're just going by a seawall. There's some rocks down there. This time of year, the sheep's head are starting to stage up, getting ready for their spring spawn. And so they're really hungry. They're eating a lot. So we're going to try to find some sheep's head and put a few in the cooler. Jude is rigging up his rod here, tying a leader on. We're using 25 pound fluorocarb. Number one hook with a small split shot. And here's the rig. Doesn't get any simpler than that. So we're going to be mostly sight fishing these fish today. We're just walking the seawall, a bunch of rocks down here. Trying to see if we see any sheep's head hanging out on these rocks, and if we do, we're going to back up a bit and cast on them. He was just fishing right off these rocks and keeping his line tight. It's like the field of sheep's head nibbles, and he's going to sit there. Nice one! Probably a keeper. Yeah. Definitely a keeper. Show him off here, dude. We got our first keeper, a 13 inch sheep's head. Teeth on that sucker. Well, that's it for us today. The weather's taking a turn, it's starting to drizzle, but we did catch a couple nice sheep said We have them in the cooler here. And we just came out here right to a public park where anyone can come with a fishing pole and a kid. It cost some sheep's head, so I hope we gave some tips that will help inspire others to get out and do it yourself.